hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix heartopia game white screen problem or black screen issue so if your heartopia game has stuck on white screen or black screen then here follow the fixes first fix is to simply restart steam so close the steam also close the steam from here so right click on this arrow icon right click on steam and then click on exit steam and then just restart the steam And once your Steam restart, go to library and then launch the hard to play game and check if your problem is solved or not. If not, then simply just restart your PC once. And after your PC restart, go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 2. Modify the game launch options. You can try minus DX11 or minus DX12. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Heartopia and then select properties. Now in the launch options, type minus DX11. Close the tab, launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then again right click on Heartopia, select properties. In the launch option, type minus DX12, close the tab, launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then again right click on it, go to properties, remove the launch options and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 3. Run the game as an administrator or try running the game in compatibility mode. So again open Steam, go to library, right click on Heartopia. Select manage and then click on browse local files. It will open the game installation folder. Now double click this xtd.exe file and try to launch the game and see if that helps or not. If not, then right click on xtd.exe file and then select properties. Now go to the compatibility tab and here check mark run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder from here itself and see if that helps or not. If not, then also check mark run this program in compatibility mode for from here select windows 8 hit apply ok and then launch the game from here and check if it's still not working then from here select windows 7 hit apply ok and then try to launch the game and check if it's still not working then check mark disable full screen optimization option as well hit apply ok and then launch the game from here and check now if it's still not working then untick all these three boxes then hit apply ok and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 4. Windows security users allow the game exe file to control folder access and firewall. So in Windows search type Windows security and open it. Click on virus and threat protection. If you scroll down click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So open C drive, open program files x86, open steam, open steam apps folder, open common folder, open heartopia folder, select xtd exe file and then click open to add it to the list. Now go back, click on firewall and network protection, click on allow an app through firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app and then click on browse. Now browse to the game installation folder, so open C drive. Open program files x86, open steam, open steam apps, open common folder, open heartopia folder. Then select xtd exe file and then click open and then click on add. Now in my case it is already added. Here you can see heartopia is already added. Make sure both private and public is tick mark. Then click on ok to save changes. And then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Now if you are using any third party antivirus programs such as Komodo, Avas, Kaspersky, AVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender, ESET then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well. Or you can simply disable your antivirus program and then check later you can enable your antivirus program. Fix 5 is to run the game on dedicated graphic card driver. So in Windows search type graphic settings and open it and then click on add desktop app. Now go to the game installation folder, open C drive, open program files x86 folder, open steam folder, open steam apps folder, open common folder, open heartopia folder, select xtd exe file and then click on add. After adding it, look for it, here it is, expand it and next to GPU preference select high performance and then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 6 to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. 
so if you have nvidia graphic card driver go to the nvidia website if you have amd graphic card driver go to the amd website if you have intel graphic card driver then go to the intel website links are provided in my video description so what you have to do you have to search and select your correct graphic card driver version and reinstall it and then you can launch the game and check i am showing the example of nvidia graphic card driver so go to this nvidia website and once you are on this nvidia website enter your graphic card driver version over here and then enter windows operating system and then click on find now you have to download and install geforce game ready driver so whatever is the latest version you have to download and install it so click on view then click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue so click on this agree and continue button then select custom advanced option and then click on next so check mark custom advanced option and then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then click on next so check mark this perform a clean installation box and then hit on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done just restart your pc once and after your pc restart then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix 7 is to verify the game files so open steam go to library right click on hardopia game select properties go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification has been done then you can go ahead launch the game and check fix it is to install visual c++ files so go to this microsoft website link is given in my video description and once you are on this microsoft website scroll down and download both x64 version and x86 version download both the version now first click on x64 version now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it now next click on x86 version now again if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it and then just restart your pc once it is a must and after restarting your pc go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix i need to disable overlay so disable game overlay in steam so open steam go to library right click on hardopia game select properties and then disable the enable the steam overlay while in game and then you can go ahead launch the game and check if that doesn't work then again go to properties and enable it and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video disable discord overlay launch discord on your pc then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay disable nvidia overlay open nvidia geforce experience settings general turn off in game overlay similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as geforce experience nvidia shadow play overlay amd overlay and then launch the game and check fix 10 delete the hardopia saved game folder please take a note you will lose all the saved game progress and saved settings so keep backup of this folder to desktop first so here how to do it open c drive open users folder open your username folder open app data folder now if you don't see app data folder over here then click on this view so and check mark hidden items and then open app data folder open local low folder open xd folder now right click on this hardopia folder and then copy it and go to desktop and paste it to keep the backup after keeping the backup right click on it and then select delete to delete it and then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not Fix 11 is to close conflicting or unnecessary program. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick controllers, multiple monitors connected to PC, unplug the Logitech or Thrustmaster racing wheel, and the task for afterburner, Riva tuner, HW info, reserve synapse, or MSI Dragon Center from task manager. Close all of the tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Fix 12 is to update Windows. So go to Windows settings on the left, click on Windows update and then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then download and install them and then just restart your pc once and after your pc restart go ahead launch the game and check and the last solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if none of the solution work for you then simply uninstall hardopia game from your pc then just restart your pc and then reinstall the game to c drive ssd drive if already installed in c drive then try installing into another ssd drive or another external ssd drive and then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not so by following these fixes you can easily solve hard to play a game white screen or black screen issue on pc so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and subscribe to my channel share this video
एंड हिट दी बेल आइकन टू गेट दी लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स थैंक यू